It's New Year, why not simply ask for what you want? A new book out right now called The Power of Asking and Creating All That You Deserve is an inspiration to a lot of us. And joining me this morning, New York Times, best-selling author and entrepreneur, Barty Toto. Thanks for being here, Barty. Thank you so much. All right, here's the deal. Uh, first, I want to start with a, a quote from Albert Einstein that you have in your book. And it is, and he's one of the great thinkers of all time. Uh, he says, quote, thinking is hard work, and that's why so few do it. Uh, I think that, that was a, a really incredible uh, quote. So as far as thinking and asking, uh, I want to first uh, tell everybody that you're New York Times bestselling author. You are also a nurse. Uh, you're a social media expert. You have 85,000 Twitter followers. I follow you all the time. And people like uh, all kinds of movie stars and so forth follow you, right? Right. Yeah, yeah I have everyone from uh, Lisa Gibbons, who is a you know native Dallas Texan, yeah. to Kathy Ireland, to, of course, you. Oh, yes. And, uh, Thank you for putting me third. <laughs> you know, oh. Drew Pearson, you know, yeah. all kinds of people. But, you know, it's... It's because I've asked. And, and you say just asking is what people just don't do anymore, right? You know, they don't do it because when we, if you think about it, it's how we're domesticated growing up, what we hear as children, or maybe what we hear from our spouse. Oh, it's not going to work. We listen to the news. What's going on in the world right now? People saying we're in a, a down economy. What does that do to you? It keeps you from you know, it causes you, one, to settle for less, but it keeps you from creating the life that you deserve, which is whether it's asking for that raise, whether it's asking to be treated better in a relationship, whether it's, you know, asking to be sponsored. I asked American Airlines, would you sponsor me? It's like I asked afraid. I just did it. Yeah. You know? and, and there was another quote in there. Uh, I can't think of who uh, you quoted, but it, it's, it said, do something that scares you once every day. Yeah, it's Eleanor Roosevelt. Right. Do uh, do something every day that scares you. Right. And I think the biggest fear that we have is asking and getting rejected. But guess what, Mike? If we don't ask, you don't get. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is fear is based on what might happen. <laughs> it's based on what might happen. Yeah. And you know what's funny is most people will say yes to you because somebody said yes to them. Uh -huh. And that is extremely powerful is I went from a, being a nurse for 17 years, starting my own marketing company, believe it or not, out of a closet of my house 17 years ago, becoming a New York Times bestseller to being on different talk shows, radio, um, and also yeah. writing columns for branding and social media, right. all from asking. All from asking. And, and some of us are, are afraid to just ask for a, a raise. And you have to ask correctly, right? I mean, right. It, it's, it's part of... And it's some of the tools that I show in the book. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. You don't want to come across and just, you know, ask. But the other problem that I'm finding with asking that was on Good Morning America this morning is that I'm big on branding and social media. Right. But we're so glued to our cell phones that it's kept us from asking our children questions, asking our spouse questions, and we wonder why there's such a high divorce rate and why people aren't getting along. Right. It's disconnecting the communication of building relationships. Well, and you have all of the tools in here. What a great book, The Power of Asking, Creating All That You Deserve. Uh, everybody needs to get a little <laughs> copy of this one, I think. Thank the you. book is available at thepowerofaskingbook.com. All right, thanks, Marty.